I guess I heard one. I heard one too. You're back, Liz. I'm here for the joy. For the joy. <laughs> Is there a lot of joy? There's so much joy in here, Denny. <laughs> it's the most joyful room in the building. When Tony's not in here. When Tony's not here. Otherwise, it's just the most sarcastic room. Actually, Tony is here. He, uh, yeah. He, but he's hiding hey. at this point. <laughs> <laughs> well, what are you guys doing? Well, today we're going to try and uh, get a little bit further on this uh, saddle repair that we've been doing. That is just the cutest little saddle little, I ever did see. It's a little kid saddle. Some people call it a miniature saddle, but it's not a miniature saddle. It's you a made a miniature saddle. saddle. Yes, I have. It's on retail. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's the cutest saddle I've ever seen. <laughs> we keep trying to find a dog that's like the right size. That, that's a saddle they used to call it a salesman sample because years ago <sighs> the salesman would travel by train and they would take that little salesman sample with them. Did they have like a cute little like case that it went in? Like I don't one know. of those old school train cases? Probably. Probably. Like the Harry Potter cases. I don't know how people move those things. The huge wooden chests. I don't understand. <laughs> yeah, it would be. Pretty rough to be a salesman in those days. Right. Maybe they just had porters for everything. Especially uh, like sewing machine salesmen. <laughs> that would be the worst job. Yeah, yeah. I mean, right now I have zero problems selling a sewing machine, but I don't have to go to your door. You call yeah. me. Yeah. So that makes it a lot easier. Yeah. Well, let's see. I'm not sure. Look where how organized your tools are, and I didn't even have to do I that. I did not do that. Oh, Tony, the sarcastic man, did that. Look how beautiful. Yes, Look, he, he put did him it. right in the shot. Did a wonderful job on it, Tony. Thanks. <laughs> now Denny can mess them all up. Yeah, I'm getting ready to mess them up because I got to move. Tony, you done that over here? I think we've done that like the last three videos. We've set it up, and so we get it all set up. We do. We show one shot of it, and then we have to move it all out of the way so we can actually do work. That's what I'm getting ready to do. Right now. <laughs> I'm going to move it all. They switch things up this I stopped being here on a regular basis. Okay, last week we got the new uh, padded seat all stitched up. I've still got to cement the back side of it. I'm going to take this off. And I think I will just spread cement on this and get that over with. Oh, it came in for some gluing. <laughs> That's a really nice shot of Denny's side. Yeah. Out. Of my side. And his arm. Time it is. <laughs> yeah, for all of you that's wondering, Denny's wearing his watch today. All is well <laughs> in the world. He's got his <laughs> copper bracelets on. Yeah. He remembered all of his accessories. Right. He's got I'm his glasses. Brush my teeth and comb my hair this morning. <laughs> I always wait to do this till uh, just before I'm getting ready to put my binding on. I don't know why I do that. I guess because if I if I stick this down too early, things might not fit up right, and I wanted to make sure everything else put together right. And they did right enough anyway. <laughs> things are never perfect, you know. Like Kevin says, it just has to be good enough. Yes. Yes, and I'm going to dry this just a bit. I don't know why, but in this room, cement tacks up really quick. It doesn't take much to get it ready to stick. So I'm going to stretch this out tight when I stick it down. I wonder if that custom air heater unit that they've got takes the humidity out. I'm sure. The rest of the room, or the building, tends to be decently humid. But we all also are in Missouri, which is just a decently humid place. Decently humid. <laughs> Here it's not the worst. I was talking to Jess the other day when we were at Farm Fest, and she's from Hawaii, and she says this is dry. <laughs> so I don't know. I guess if you're coming from Hawaii, that makes sense. It's also just perpetually cold here. It's like 75 degrees outside and she's cold. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> she is. All right. To trim this off, I've just got a number four uh, Western style edger, fork edger. We discussed that last week too, I think. And I'm going to put the binding over this so. All I'm doing is getting this So it covered. doesn't have to be perfect. No. 
It would be nice if it was, but it's not going to be. It's not. So, Denny, this, and you may have talked about this last week, and I just don't know. This this leather has seen some better days. Yes, it has. Uh, you know, and Tony and I have talked about this. This is a saddle normally people wouldn't want to put this much work into mm -hmm. because it's going to co it would cost more than the saddle would be worth when it was done. Right. But this saddle has some sentimental value, so we're fixing it back up, and we're going to oil it and everything before uh, all is said and done, and. Uh, recondition it and it'll be better than it is now but right. but it'll never be like a nice pliable <laughs> piece of leather again. can't put that grain back on the surface yeah. once it yeah. starts coming off cannot now i'm going to see if this binding fits back on yeah, i think it's going to it's pretty okay, nice. zoomed in, Tony. thank you you're welcome Like it never fell off. Yeah, you just you got to be careful when you take this binding off that you don't cut the leather when you, when you trim the stitches off. But to, how did I do? You did very well, Tony. I will give you an A on this. Yeah. I grade everything people do. <laughs> do they do they always get A's? No, I always tell them they. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I knew that. <laughs> All right, I'm going to stick a little glue on here, and I'm not going to wait for it to tack up. I'm going to let it tack up after it's on there. Because if I wait for it to tack up, you won't be able to get things on there very good. Let me get a couple of these stitches off here. Did you want me to help you out with anything today? I wanted you to get these stitches off before I started this, but you didn't. So, oh. so no. When did you, you don't get an A on this part. <laughs> when did you communicate that part? I didn't. Oh, okay. You just needed to know. You needed yeah. the telepathic Denny knowledge. Yeah. You're supposed to realize things. I see where you got some some extra glue there, but it's yeah, not going to matter. Better. It's not going to matter because the binding's going to go. That's right. The binding's going to come. I'm going to plate it off anyway. So I got something to do. Let's grab a cup of coffee. You can just have a seat like me. You know what I forgot I, I, to bring? You don't mind going to sit on your lap? <laughs> <It's like fall laughs> no, I can sit on the stool that you're no longer <laughs> sitting on. <laughs> Forgot to bring in a needle and thread to stitch this back on. Can you go get that for you? Uh, wait a minute. We'll see. Wait we'll just we'll a minute. See. Then he's gonna. Let me do this. You can't me. hit me. He can't hit me in the face. He just has to burn. You're the one that's gonna hit me in the face. Well, last time you're in a threat. Really frequently. In the last video we were in, you did. Did okay. mm -hmm. Some leather. Did I act? Uh, no, you didn't hit me in the face. You just threat. Oh. Hi, Holly. Welcome in. <laughs> yeah, we are. Okay, now I need to tack this on. If I can find my nails. I'll put them over here. You can use those if you want. Thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. See what happens when you aren't involved. <laughs> this is, you guys have some tension happening in this video. <laughs> It's because he's burning me all the time. All right. Now, Tony, if okay. you could hold that back. Oh, sure. Let me get over here and stick the nail in. You tack it to the tree. Did you find some shorter nails? No. Cool. Yeah, good enough. And that's all we're after. No. Yeah. All right. Yeah. No, we'll hold that back. Same thing to this side. And if you get your fingers in the way, I can smack them too. Okay. See what I can do. Uh, yeah, if you're not too thin, we'll have to look together. It's dangerous. <laughs> we have a good time, that is for sure. <laughs> All right. Now the binding is back on. <laughs> and we will have to hand stitch that, but uh, you guys probably won't be watching a lot of that. You'll get bored. It seems awful. It's not bad. I'll. Oh. I'll get it started here in a little bit. So yeah. when we were looking underneath on that candle part before we put that binding on, there was like three rows of stitches. What was that on? Oh, on on, mm -hmm. on the seat itself. Mm -hmm. That was just to hold things together. Oh, okay. I, mean, they, I don't do that usually, but okay. they did. And Whatever, work, however, their construction works. Yeah, worked out for them. Did that. 
How do you line up your front holes with your back holes? You don't. Okay. You, you won't. Just, you on, on a redo piece. like this, the, the bottom ones probably aren't going to match up. Okay. You just stitch through the top. Make that Tell pretty. people not to look underneath. Don't I mean, you, underneath. if you see somebody getting up underneath your saddle to look like that, just smack them in yeah, the head. Say, hey, hey, stand back. Hey, look, you're getting too close. Yeah. As long as you got a horse underneath, maybe you'll like have little horse kicks going on. Yeah. Like, yeah. Get them out of there. Okay, now let's put this back jockey on. We can stitch that with the back jockey. That's what I'm going to do. What you want to do is be careful that you get the center of this back jockey, the center between your, your skirts. Back. So I know other skirts that don't have that, they'll lace this piece together. That's not good. That's not good, he It'll, says. It will loin sore your horse. These are the horse's loins right back here. Yeah. And if they're together and if they can't work up and down, it'll sit there and just rub, rub a little blister on them and they'll get irritated. So you never do that <laughs> I don't. double diamond? I don't. I, I might do it on the, the back jockey itself uh -huh. instead of, this is called a frog, this little piece here. Yeah. So instead of a frog, I might lace that together. I see. And I think there's a fancy saddle that you just cleaned up this lace together back there. Yeah, I think. No, it's not. Oh, it's not? It's got a frog on it, too. Okay. Yeah. I laced it together up in the front. Mm. <laughs> a little piece of lace looks good on it. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to put some saddle strings on them. Yeah. We can count that as lace, right? Yeah. You sure. want me hold that nail for you? Yes. Okay. For a long time. <laughs> I'm just going to... I saw how long you hammered on those other ones. I don't want to hold on to it, though. No, I'm going to use a bigger hammer. Okay. I'll let you... This is down. Make sure you got everything nice and snug. Pretty good. Denny, did you ride a lot of horses when you lived in Wyoming? Yeah, I did. Yeah. I did. I, I moved there from here and I took four horses with me. So you had some horses? Horses. Yeah, yeah the place that I lived which is five acres, I rented this place there. I was going to buy it, but we decided to move back here instead. But it uh, had a really nice old barn on it and had a little alfalfa field with an irrigation ditch that in the morning time, you could go, go out there and sometimes you would see grizzly bear tracks oh my. on that irrigation ditch. It's better to see the tracks than the grizzly bear itself. Yeah, that up around Cody was the the biggest concentration of grizzly bears in the lower 48 feet. Oh wow! Yeah, it was cool. It See, was cool. Did you get Did you get a couple sightings? Yes, I saw I saw grizzly bears while I was there. When we were fishing one time, there was a we were in Yellowstone, fifty miles from where I lived. But uh, I was fishing in this creek, and, and the creek kind of went around this this bend, and there was a, a mud bluff there. Mm -hmm. And a guy on the road behind me hollered and said, "There's a grizzly bear a hundred yards from you, headed your way." And I didn't believe him because I thought, you know, <laughs> he's 50 yards behind me. The grizzly bear is probably two and a half miles from here and going the other direction. But in about 30 seconds, here's this grizzly bear face came up over that bluff. And about that time, uh, my two friends that were with me came down the creek and met up with me. And we sat there wide-eyed. This bear boiled down off that bluff and got in the water like an old hog and just wallering around. <laughs> Turning water up, it was a cool looking bear. I've heard of the silver tip grizzly? Mm -hmm. Okay. It had like white or silver hair on its on its back on that hump, mm -hmm. and the hump like was a gorilla, like a silver. Yeah. Okay. But it was cool. I mean, huh. it was huge. Where was this in Wyoming? This was in Yellowstone. In Yellowstone. But we watched that bear for ten minutes, and and finally the guy that was standing next to me said, "We ought to ease back on out of here." Speaking of silver tip grizzlies, <laughs> four, four, Kevin. four gorillas. Okay. <laughs> Hi. Hey, Kevin. Same old stuff. I'm just coming in to hear the grizzly story. Now. <laughs> you guys live? We are. We are live. We're repairing this cute little saddle, plus getting some Denny stories. Yeah. Don't get bit by a bear. <laughs> That's the tip of the day. <laughs> Do you? He probably wants to come in here and bug Chad about something. Oh, <laughs> Chad's at my desk, though. 
But she anyway, <laughs> none of that story was we backed out of there and the grizzly bear followed us back towards our truck. And when we got to our truck, there were two buffaloes. Oh, wow. One was laying down, kind of asleep, and the other one was grazing right by our truck. And uh, we got up there. It didn't pay any attention to us at all. We were like 10 or 15 yards from us. Huh. But pretty soon, the one that's laying down, its little ears <laughs> perked up like this because it smelled that bear. And it jumped up to its feet like a ballerina. I mean, <laughs> it was quick. Nimble things yeah. when, a, when a bear's around. And both of them. You hardly ever see a buffalo run up there. Everybody yeah. just kind of amble along. They just the roam. The they just yeah. usually roam. But these two things ran up the side of this hill. It was a hill steep enough you could stand like this. Oh, oh my man. gosh. And they ran up that hill like track stars. <laughs> <laughs> no, we never saw a bear again. No. Yeah, I bet not. That's quite the day. You can't yeah. talk to these guys right now. They're having liars to this. <laughs> Okay. All right. So, hold on. We got a couple questions here. Nick was asking, "Where in Wyoming did you live?" Uh, Cody. And then Randy says, "I've been waiting to see the cantle binding get sewn, and he skipped it." Okay, it we yet. haven't sewn it yet. We haven't sewn it. It's not there. Yeah. We will here in, in a bit. So we're get we're going to, we're going to do that part. We'll do a little bit. We're not going to do all of it because the same thing. For, you do the same thing right here that you do here, right? Sure. And the same thing that you do right there sure. and over here. So we're not going to make you guys. Watch that. Oh, all the way. Across. We'll get started on it, but it'll be the last thing we do. Actually. Yeah, we just have a little bear story to talk yeah. about. Hang tight with us, Randy. We'll get okay. That. Next, I'm going to put the stir blender back on. Oh, and we did something. We did something off we, camera. We put new stirrup leathers on the. We talked about it. They were they were stretched and checked just a little bit, yeah. so we repaired that. No blevins on these, just a yeah. roller, yeah. a heel bar, roller buckle. roller buckle. Michael said, "So if the saddle was new, why you why you stick that in there?" I'll ask it to you. When the when the saddle was, if a saddle was new, what would you use to condition it throughout Neat, the use? Neat's foot oil. Saddle once, once a year after it or after it gets wet. Saddle soap has a cool yeah. name to it. You can yeah. probably use some of that. Saddle soap it every day if you want to. Saddle soap will just make the leg softer and more pliable. Yeah. But too much oil will saturate it. And you so might... oil once a year or after it gets wet. Yeah. And then saddle soap to your heart's desire. That's right. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. So you went. We go this way, right? Nope. The other way. This way. There you go. And I'm going to come. Like that? No, nope. you're gonna go right oh, oh, over this top. All right. Yeah. yeah, you'll have to reap in here and kind of make it take that bent over there. Denny, I feel like at this point in your life, you should own some of some of the Phoebe Corporation for saddle soap. You should. do so much. They should. They, sh they should appreciate me. <laughs> they should pay you for advertising. <laughs> the Phoebe Pace saddle soap, and there's another a liquid uh, saddle soap that uh, is sold. That we don't carry. There is it's called Farnham's Leather, oh. which is an excellent product. It does about the same thing as the Pace saddle soap. <clears throat> the glycerin saddle soap is good to clean with, but it, it's not a good conditioner. Right. How you doing? Just living life. <laughs> I love to watch. It's, it's a little struggle bus right here. Yeah. Uh, okay, you went on top of it. Yeah. He made it. The turn is tight up between where the tree meets. Um, so this one, yeah. Nobody can see I was going to, but I would. He didn't buckle up. No, he didn't buckle up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Now, where are we? We've got our little front jockeys put on. Can you put your foot in there? No, no, there's a stirrups. The stirrups. Our stirrups are somewhere. I don't know where they're Okay, need. okay. Because I don't think they're in our box. Do you have the stirrups? No, I do not. Hmm. I looked for them in the box a while ago. I thought you had a plan for them. Oh, because they were the wooden ones. We took those tapaderos off. You took off the tapaderos? Well, anyway. Yeah, they were. They were fit, fit to be reckoned. They were no longer tapping. This... Or this Dara. is what they call a, a an eight button seat. Most modern saddles have six button seat, but this one, the the front jockey and the seat jockey are two separate pieces. So there's a button here and a button here and a button here and a button 
here on each side. Hence, so one, back. two, three, four, four, and then times two. Times and we have two. a left and a right. Very good. But see, we shaped all these when we have, when we had them wet. We flattened them out, and then you set them. You uh, put a little, like a bow, put a recurve back in. A cup. <laughs> <laughs> you re you recurve your leathers. Talk about recurves in archery and in saddlery. <laughs> Oh, I figured out what I did with them stirrups. What? They're right there on that milk crate. Okay. Good we, for you. We have to do we have to do some finagling with them. They they're in a they're in a way down there. Okay. <laughs> now I'm gonna turn this over, lay it on his back, and I'm gonna I'm gonna nail this in front of this skirt. Yeah. Okay. I can see it's got a little gift to it, so we're just gonna put that back to the tree. Yeah. Now that we got our front tuck in? Well, now that we got our stirrup leathers in, that's the main thing. If you tie this down, it's really hard to get the stirrup leathers to take yeah, the turn. Yeah, let's see if we can do that number. We can, there we go. Oh, but since we got the stirrup leathers on there now. Yeah. Okay. Rotate. Generally, these saddles have a few nails tying the skirt to the underneath the, the fork, or some people call it the fork. That's what I call it. And then they generally have another set right back here. So that's what you're going to do. Find your candle. Put you back here. So you try to drive that nail into your candle? Yes under the bottom side. Saddles sure do have a lot of anatomy. They have a lot of anatomy. <laughs> All right. Now that this little saddle had some saddle strings too. So what we're going to do, and I, I took the liberty of cutting those saddle strings already. So we're going to have a set of strings on the very front buttons and a set of strings on the very back buttons. Are you going to bleed knot these? Yes, I'm going to bleed knot. My favorite thing. All right. Here are the strings. So if this was a saddle I built, I would put the string... I would put them all the way through the tree from the back side, drill a hole in the tree, run them through. But since I didn't build this saddle, these are really going to be for us. These are just anyway. faux strings. They're faux. They'll, you know, they'll be usable, but they aren't going to be as durable. Stuffed animals that you tie while you ride your horse you know, on your kids' saddles are probably not going to carry too much weight. Yeah. <laughs> Is that what your girl put on their horse when they're riding no. <laughs> their stuffed animals? That'd be a good idea, though. Because, Denny, usually that's that's pulling everything together. You've got yeah. that coming all the yeah, way through. Yeah, I use, use the strings to actually hold the skirts to the, yeah. to the tree itself. But we use the tie-ups on this one, which you aren't here for the tie-ups. I was not but, here for the tie-ups. I missed that. But they did the same thing. They'll work through this. Let's see here. So we've got a we've got a story time for you, Denny. Terry Terry Beeson. Sp All right, Split Terry, Terry. Let's have it. He said, "True story. He wasn't there, but he had three friends that were salmon fishing in Alaska, and a bear showed up. So they huddled together to make the bear think that they were one big animal. I'm assuming they got out alive, and that worked for them. I still count. I still count it as a fishing story, and I those are stretched a little bit. I bet." 
They probably the, became really good friends doing that. Oh, <laughs> oh so this it, it gets it gets more exciting. The bear got a little too close, so one of them pulled out the bear spray and started spraying. Oh, but then the bear spray got them, and uh, they had burning eyes and couldn't breathe. See, I told you this story was going to get stretched a little bit. <laughs> Put a couple nails here. Then, did you bring up, you got us some new little fancy, conchos? Fancy little. Oh, so we nailed the conchos in. Yeah, yeah I don't know. Cause, cause, I'm going to. I don't know if we can see it here. Oh. Go to that camera three there, Chad, maybe. Yeah. Nail See, I'm right going to cover those conchos, or those Let's nails. With these beautiful little star rosettes. Which have been the standard of the industry for many, many years. You, did you start it? Time. Did you start that no, trend? No, no, I did not. <laughs> <laughs> Does that predate him? Yes, it even predates me. <laughs> <laughs> About a year or two, I bet. Yeah. <laughs> All right, now you can show them that. Okay. Isn't that cute? Look at that. We got our nails are hidden now. Yeah. Nice job, Denny. Yeah. Can you do it one more time? <laughs> yes, I need to do it one more time. Oh, okay. Well, probably two more. Two more times. Three, three more times. Just two. two more. Oh. I put the wrong string on. Well, we'll change that later off camera. How does that sound? I meant to put a shorter string. Well, we the long strings go on the back. Where are the shorter ones at? Right here. Do you want another long string? You just that. won't do one of them. Because you can just cut that one down. I'll take that one back off of here. Okay. Here, you going to put that one on the back there? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what camera is going to be able to shoot this. Not that one, evidently. Nail my little finger. Will you try to get the camera too for just a second? I'll move this okay, camera. See. You got another show this weekend, Liz? We do. We're setting up here in town at the Expo Center, and we're going to do the Ozark Gym and Mineral Show. Because for those of you that have never been into our store or don't listen to us ramble a lot, um, we also <laughs> have a rock show, like a rock store here, because Kevin likes rocks. You if know? anybody would get done with the store tour, then we could show that off. By the time we get done with the store tour, it's going to be time to do another store tour. Time to do another one. Yeah. No. But uh, so the Ozark Gym and Mineral Show. It's this weekend, and we'll set up a booth there. So that's the last one, guys. That's the last one. The then last you're gonna show. be. Then you're gonna be in videos again all the time. Well, then I go to Vegas, what and are you then I'll do come in back. Vegas. Uh, we're gonna be helping run a, a knife show that is going on the last weekend of October, and then after that, it'll be a little vacation. Who? We're gonna take a helicopter tour of the Grand Canyon. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. Fun. I'm super excited about that. But, and then we're just going to eat a lot of food because that's what Vegas has if you don't gamble, which I don't really I like to watch the Other sad people. gambling folks, but I don't like to participate. So we'll eat a lot of food. Oh, do you want to put that one on? Yeah, now I'll, now I'll do the other two. Okay. I am excited about eating a lot of food. We're going to go to Momofuku. It's coming again? Momofuku. Oh, okay. David Chen. That's what I thought you said. That's what I said. You know what? I'm going to have to put strings on these two to use those. Well, I'm not going to use Tonko on the on these two side buttons. That'll work out. Yeah. You want this? Mm, yeah, in a minute. One, one thousand. Two, one thousand. Three, one thousand. How many? Just Denny got himself hurt. <laughs> That's why I never take you up. They offered to hold your nails in place. That's good. <laughs> I think, yeah, apparently.
this is a little bit off center because we're going to put the cap sink screw. In the middle. Do you want the long one or the short one? Uh, the long one, probably. I'm going to drive a little hole to get that started. There you are. Sip bones. Uh, just take a, take a guess what that is. That's it's all the sips. Hold on. Getting low on my sips here, guys. But the amazing JB, I still have, I still have one left. I did, I did change out my mug before I came in here. I do have, I have my travel mug here, what I normally use, but. Will you adjust that camera? Sure it in here. Holly, to get it all up in Luca's face. Oh. There. You're getting there. Here. Um, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> She's working on it. There's so much hammering and nailing and dirt. Oh, yeah. Since Abigail's not here. <laughs> You're going to pretend to be. Well, maybe we should change it since. Holly will be the new Abigail. <laughs> All right. That side's done. All so right. First, you can use a power tool in your leather truck. Well, some old timers would probably. Not approved. No. But I'm an old timer and I do approve. So. There you go, guys. <laughs> Did Holly Abigail make her appearance? Holly Abigail. <laughs> Abigail. Abigail. Come on in. You can come on over here. We can peek it. There she is. Sure, it has a bunch of cat hair on it. <laughs> That's okay. I'm always covered in dog hair. Holly did a live shopping with us. Everybody enjoyed. Oh. This was it's her fiance at the time. I was saying she needed a raise. I was saying, wow, what happened to that great girl that was on there the last time? And I was like, this has got to be. It's <laughs> 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 <I> made. <laughs> We've been hearing about Holly's outdoor adventures on her lovely honeymoon last week, so that's been awesome. She can compete with Denny now for outdoor adventures. You just you just got married last week? Well, <laughs> con congratulations. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. It's a very cold day. I highly recommend anybody's out there in Utah. Send us pictures. We love that stuff. Whereabouts? Utah. Where in Utah? Inglands and the Arches. All right. Moab, Missouri. Er, Moab, um, Utah. On the Great <laughs> River. <laughs> yeah, we don't have too many arches in Moab, Missouri. We may not even have a Moab. We don't Missouri. have a Moab. We've got a Boaz. We do have a Boaz. <laughs> We've yeah, got, got a Humansville, the... which is where the people live, I guess. We also have a Tightwad, Missouri. <laughs> Penny Pincher? Yeah. Penny Pincher is there. Possum Trot. Possum Trot. <laughs> Paris. We have a Springfield. We have, along with all other 50 states, we do contain a Springfield. <laughs> <laughs> there is a Springfield in just about every So, other yeah, state. it's pretty unoriginal. A bunch. Name. That's why the Simpsons were successful at saying Springfield. So everybody can relate to that. Yeah. Everybody's got a Springfield. They're talking about our distance. It's <laughs> shouting distance. <laughs> so why are your front strings shorter than your back strings? The back strings, they usually actually tie things on with them. Like, front strings are just like decorative. Rain slickers or bed rolls or saddlebags. Rain slickers? Uh, or when it rains, it's you called put... a rain coat. Okay, okay. You know, like a oh, chopper, you call it a fish. A fish? It used to be... Canvas that was coated with fish oil. 
All right. And they smelled like really old fish. Yeah, that sounds terrible. Yeah. But it kept them dry. Sorry, I'll hold your saddle. Please. Oils. <laughs> you don't have to coat yourself in fish oil not to get rain done. We'll just take the fish oil now. Just digest it. Oh, yeah. We brains. don't put it on ourselves. We just eat it. Yeah. Yeah. I take my fish oil pills. It's like I have some, the day. I got some walrus oil over on my desk. So I looked at because I was curious about that. So I looked at the, the ingredients and there's zero walrus oil, which I'm sure can actually be pretty illegal. Thanks. <laughs> What would you do with it? I don't know. We're going to find out. It has a picture of a point. shoe on it, so I assume it wants to condition Waterproofing, something. conditioning. Yeah. They sent it to us. They asked us if we had tried it out, so that's why we uh -huh. did give that a shot. I should bring in my, my bed stews. We could give it a coat. Your what? My bed stews. My little expert shoes. Oh, no. Now I need to take this one back on. I wasn't sure what you were talking about. Only thing I knew that had in it that was in your room that, well, I don't know what's in your room, but people talk about bed pans. <laughs> I don't know what bed stews are. I definitely don't have a bed pan in my room. I just no. want to make that really clear. <laughs> you don't make that clear. I don't know. I've never been there. There's a, there's a bathroom. Uh oh, well. <laughs> That's a thing. Modern day. <laughs> Advances in technology. We don't have bed pans anymore. What are they? What else do they call that? Art. There are definitely st still those. Well, they. It was called the pot, but it had another the chamber pot. Chamber, chamber pot. pot. Yeah. yeah, Denny must have had one. He knew. My right. grandmother he, did. Yeah. He knew that My right off the top of Outhouse. I mean, people still have outhouses in Alaska. You don't have indoor plumbing. You should have an outhouse or just an out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The Amazing JB says, Tony, has anyone seen The Amazing JB sent me on any online purchases? I don't. I, I mean, I can, I can run a report and ask. I guess were you throwing our name out there? Oh, like in the water comments? Yeah. Look, nobody's, nobody's like, brought it to our attention. I think so. Yeah, because we had talked about doing some affiliate type of programs. But that that got nicked when, the they, struggle bus. when they said it was going to be $600 a month for us to have to do it. And I was like, it's $600 for somebody else to have to do. We do some stuff every once. We do videos three times a week. Mm -hmm. They've been pretty successful. I mean, people are still watching. It may be the same people. People. Nobody seems to be sharing us. They're keeping us all to themselves. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you that's what it is. Like, don't watch that SLC stuff. It's weird. <laughs> and then they then they log in. Definitely weird. <laughs> they talk about chamber pods and bed pans. <laughs> Hey, we're realistic here. <laughs> Life happens. I so said, why don't you just make 15 minute videos and show us how to put a saddle together? No, you're going to miss the 45 minutes of just yammering on. I brought you by Tony. <laughs> That's right. We're about there, Denny. I'm just about there. I feel like I came in just for the, the final completion of this puppy. You did. You know what the good part was is that we didn't have to do anything with that. To what? The horn. Ah, the horn would have been simple compared to it looks this like it's part missing here some that we're print. getting ready to start. And, and stitching the candle binding is not hard. It's time consuming. It's time consuming. I remember we tried to do a repair on a saddle horn that one time, and it kept on poking through the other leather, leather so you had to redo the whole thing. But mm -hmm. this one's all tucked up underneath. And... What do you call that other stuff? You can wrap some you wrap some raw hide around for those bumpers that Yeah, dally wrap. Dally wrap. It was a special name. It's pretty special. Have you been down saddle? Uh over thirty years. I started in well, nineteen eighty four. Or nineteen eighty two, I think. Oh, 
was even for you. <laughs> I was. I was not building saddles yet. I was only one. <laughs> it's barely, Tony was barely you born. You were one? Mm-hmm. And building saddles at about a year and a half. Yeah, mm-hmm. it, it was six more months and I started working on my first saddle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just thinking about like the baby boss building a saddle. <laughs> okay. Oh, Becky says, says, hi, y'all. What day is the live sale? It's always on Thursdays, Becky. Tomorrow, Becky. Yep. At two. two on Facebook. Two Central. Okay, we're going to do Liz's favorite part here. We're going to bleed knot it. With a, what's that little tool you're using there, Denny? A bleed tool. A bleed, a bleed knife. A bleed knife. Hey, look, your bleed. Your bleed cut is off center, too. Mine, mine always are. You aren't supposed to tell people that. <laughs> That's why I have the camera a little bit out of focus, so we can't see that part. Just makes me feel better. So you stick that right where that other piece came through and make yeah, it cut, you right? Yeah, make it as tight as you can because it's never going to get tight. Only get loosey. Is looser a word? More loose? Looser is a word. Yeah. You're such a looser. <laughs> Here it is, I'll say that's a word. <laughs> yeah, we've used many other words that. <laughs> that would be fun. You can work on that next. We can put it on the website too. Michael said one of the things he was looking forward to while uh, was in the hospital was watching the SLC videos once he got home. He does enjoy them. He laughs too much to watch them. We are a riot. See, I just made somebody giggle over there. <laughs> Not a quiet riot. <laughs> it's never it's never quiet if I'm involved. This guy says, You guys are awesome. Something like that. We're something. You just know. found your channel been viewing your past videos, learning a ton, new to leather craft, carpenter by trade. Thanks for all you do. Well, Hollywood, Scott. Hollywood, Florida. I would assume carpenters make great saddle makers. They're used to hammering stuff into wood. I, they're used <laughs> to making things work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't work. Just try get a bigger hammer. Yeah. Pretty easy. Yeah, Rusty was in longer nail. Rusty was in construction and carpentry. I worked in construction. Denny, did you ever work in construction? Yes, I built houses for 15 years before I started. Good gracious. How long? I'm old. <laughs> Bill has salad for 30 years and he was doing, that's 45 years that we've already taken up with built the houses and saddles. How and you've been here for eight? I've been here for eight, yeah. This is Denny's anniversary week. It is? It is. Did you know that? No. Bamboo tells us things these days. <laughs> That sly how technology. How long have I been here? Eight years. Eight years. <laughs> he did. Yeah, or just here. over a few doors. <laughs> Never worked this way. I have his retail. So when Denny was on retail, he had this little station with this cute little um, like secretary desk that he found at some thrift store that he had like his little chemicals in and he had his little tools that he would sometimes, you know, he'd do little like carving classes on retail. And um, when he got his own department and this big, beautiful area to work in, um, he inherited the really bit. cool desk. You care if so I try I've to spin you a little bit? bit. <laughs> I, I don't know. Other, other than that, I can't do what I need to do. No, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just keep turning it. I've just got one more cut to make. Well, I'm just trying to make it visible. Below. <laughs> How do you put welts in a swell cover? That's a swell question. That's well, somebody else will have to answer. I would have to show you. Uh, can I ask a question? Uh-huh. What's, What's a, a swell? swell? <laughs> this is a swell. This is a welt in the swell. Okay. We can't see that. You can do two oh. kinds of welt. You can do it. Hold what on. They call you show, it. That, show that to us again. This is the swell. This whole part. Up here. That's on your pommel. Some people call it the pommel. Oh, Some also call it the swell. swell. So Some people call it the fork. Okay. It's the same. Okay. The fork swell pommel. This is this is a weld because when you've got a, a, a swell or a pommel, it's it's out here really sharp yeah. and, and takes a real sharp turn, like a barrel saddle. You about have to put a welt in it 
to get rid of all the slack around when you're trying to shape the leather. Yeah. But there's two kinds of welts. There's a folded welt, which is what this is. It's a piece of leather that's folded. It's like piping. Okay. And then there's a raw one, which is just a piece of leather that you trim off. Like a knife piece. Yes. Yes. That I know. That'd be something we'd be able to go over if we end up doing the saddle blast. I would have, yeah, I would have to show it. I, I mean, I can't sit here. I'm sorry, but I can't explain it. <laughs> <laughs> but I can sure show you. Michael, Denny's tools are always polished. Um, but this leather, Latigo leather also cuts really well. They were asking if you're, if you're. Is it razor sharp? Razor sharp. Yes, more than razor sharp. Wow. Yeah. The sharper it is, the better job you can do. The duller it is, the nastier, raggedier yeah. job you do. If you touch the edge of it, it'll bleed. That's why they call it a bleed. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I think I'm just staring at it. <laughs> what else we got? I'll tell you what. I think we're ready to start stitching the oh, bike, the but I have to go get a thread and some needles, and I will be back. Don't run away. All right. We won't even get scared. Okay. Talk we might, to people. We might talk about you. Well, that's it for the coffee, guys. That's, that's all she wrote. That's all she wrote. That's all I got. No more sips. Yeah, we're What's everybody doing out there? What's everybody doing this weekend? Besides the rock show, isn't it? I'm excited about the rock show. I think it's fun. I think it'll be good. Are you going to take some cowhide rugs out there, too? No, I'm going to take some of those purses that we made. Some of those leather bags. But I got a leather purse over here. Well, you do, yeah. Melissa made us another bag. Check that thing out right there. That's using the Aztec pad, uh, the Aztec cut out templates, mm -hmm. or the we have the acrylic templates of them. We we do have the templates. Boom. Yeah. So we on the live. So last week we sold the bag that Melissa made using. Kevin wanted a couple examples with uh, the little hair on calves that we've sold a few of in our live sale. Um, and so we made a couple examples. They're cute little calf skins. Drop in liner so you don't see your drop in leather liner. Yeah, so you don't see your uh seams. Mm. Yep. Little SLC tab on there. Isn't cute. that just cute? I think that's just a odd lot oil can that she found. You think it's like that slate or that denim oil new can buck. that we that yeah, new buck type of stuff? We may have sold a piece of that on the live shopping before. Oh, man. Look at all that fringe. Oh no, that's a lot of French. Like, they cut that on our French machine? We, I assume that we did. Little magnetic clap. Oh, there's the back of it. Got you a big hair on pocket back there. I'll probably put an iPad in there. Or at least a phone. A big phone pocket. <laughs> well, well, whatever. Big. You put your sandwich in there. Just don't squish it. Oh, I'll put... Let's see here. We stayed on the lake. So Michael said we stayed on the lake when we visited SLS in June. Last day, an eagle flew right in front of the balcony. That's awesome. I always get really excited. Every once in a while, I'll see an eagle or a, I see a hawk pretty frequently on my little walks that I take. <laughs> Down at Lake Springfield, they have uh, bald eagles that come in there quite a bit <laughs> that will nest there. What is the interior on that? It looks like a lambskin. Yeah. It could be one of our new um, It kind of looks like one of those new lambskins. The Turkish ones? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Could be. I didn't, I didn't ask her, but it's definitely a lambskin. It's pretty thick, though. I mean, it feels like maybe a three yeah. or four ounce. It's a nice camel color. Yeah, we might end up selling it tomorrow. Then you will have to have her make another one that you can take. <laughs> oh, I have plenty of other bags. We just keep her. We just keep her making bags all the time. Hone our craft. <laughs> Let's, Let's see. see, making notebook covers and tote bags. I'll be working on wallets. Says onion head. Working on wallet wallets, belts, and a few other things the rest of the week. You can do a money belt, and you can have a wallet belt. Mike asked if we have hair on panels. Um, we don't have hair on panels, but we do have, so, like, you can buy, if you're looking at the cowhide, um, Kevin is doing, like, a porter's bundle mm -hmm. on the, the hair on cowhide, which is a pretty good deal. So you'll get four pieces, basically 
a whole cowhide, but you'll have four different colors, which is nice if you're doing small projects and you want variation. Um, so you can buy that. Those are up on our website. Or if you're interested in some of these calf skins, they're like 40 bucks. We've got red and white, brown and white. I don't, I don't really know where the red yeah, comes from. 40, I don't understand. 40 or 45. Yeah, something. I think they're up on retail. For 40 minutes. Okay. Yeah. And then we've got some black and white ones. So if you're interested in any of the calf skins, just give us a holler or shoot like team at Springfield Leather an email. Um, I don't think they're up on the website. No, nope. but we can we can get one on order for you. Yeah. Or, you know, it's whatever. Get one on an order for you. Yeah. When will the video come out on welts and pommels? It <laughs> will probably be a saddle. If we do it, it'll be a saddle making class. Because I mean, if you got to the welt and the pommel, you'd well, probably did, be constructing a saddle. When you did your videos, because we've got the saddle video online. Did oh, you yeah. have a welt? Yeah, we might have. It might be a little bit on there. Okay. Well, I don't remember if I did a welt on that saddle or not. Mm. Wayne, we'll kind of look into it and maybe try to let you know. But we do have, if you look back in our history, a couple of years ago, we did kind of like a series on saddles. <laughs> or if you sort, <laughs> like watching us. If you don't. sort by the most popular ones, it should be close to the top because it's a pretty popular one. No yeah. talking in it, written instructions, or written what direction he was doing. Okay, we're ready to start sticking this dude. All right. And <clears throat> you always want to stitch toward yourself. Okay. So. Let's see. I'm going to oh. try to figure out where I'm going to be able to get a camera here to be able to see. Do we want to kick the table out of the way and go to the overhead camera before you get crazy? What do you need? Uh, we'll just unlock. Unlock. Move this camera. Maybe just push it forward and see if we can't move the saddle underneath that camera. What do we got, Chad? There we go. If I can stay out of the way. Well, I'm trying to set this one too. Terry's gonna spoil his new grandbaby. That sounds fun. Randy's working on a purse. Michael's sewing right, up some leather channel. satchels. That's beautiful. And then you can probably go and picture in picture of that four if you want. If you remember. Oh, I see the blade coming out there. Yeah. yeah. What blade? You blade? can see it. You can see it. Yep. This is, I believe, an inch and three quarter or a two inch blade. You want to use the shortest one possible, but yes. when you're doing a candle binding like this, you kind of need a long probably, one. Probably two inches is what you need. Yeah. I just want to pull this through till I find my center of my thread. And the key to this is use a sharp awl. Keep the same angle every time when you cut through it because you are actually cutting a hole. Yeah. The first few stitches down in the corner are kind of aggravating sometimes. Come out a little higher. There it is. Be singing in the shop. Yeah, I hear that. <laughs> Let's see, I was going to try to zoom in just a little bit. Can all you see is my head? No, we're pretty good on this problem here. But now, all right, now I can see your head. I keep grabbing my coffee, but it's empty. So. Just want something in my hand. Are you doing the uh, famous saddle stitch on yeah. this? Yeah, I am. Hmm. Which is just two needles. Nothing too awfully scientific. I wouldn't be doing <laughs> Just remember that, folks. <laughs> it's not rocket science. Is that a special kind of awl or just thicker? It looks like it might be bladed or it just might be the angle. No, it's a diamond, diamond shaped awl.
I mean, I guess Maybe. I would consider it bladed. It's got it's the diamond. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the two edges actually cut. Yeah. It cuts a diamond shaped hole. And you're doing something with an existing piece of leather like I'm doing, you just want to go through the same holes on the top. And then whatever happens on the back side happens on the back well, side. You do the best you can, but you probably aren't going to come out. And you just do that for a, a few more stitches. Yeah, a few more stitches. <laughs> just, you know, for the next couple hours or so. You know, I used to be able to stitch a panel binding in two hours. Wow. Not not so much anymore. Well, I haven't done very many here lately. <laughs> <laughs> That's a cute trick. <laughs> yeah. We've we've got, got We've lassoed our stirrup. Well, not the stirrup, it's the fender. Stirrup into the tape. So, Denny, I remember last time we were hand sewing, I had asked you about, like, I'm always cutting my thread with my other needle when I go to pull it through. Mm -hmm. And you had a fun trick, and I think that you should remind people of that, okay. just because I think that it's... I'm getting ready to show you right now. Yeah. All right. I'm pulling this one needle through from the backside, pushing my other, and I just pull it through a little ways, push my other needle in, then I pull on this one thread that I've got. And if y'all, I don't know if you could hear it, but there was a little pop there because I had stabbed that thread when I pulled it through. It pulled it off that needle, so it's not impaled anymore. Exactly, because you can't you can't do that. <laughs> yeah, you once you stab that thread and and pull it through, you can't change that, and you can't make another stitch because you can't pull it tight. Exactly. And so I had always struggled with that. And I was like, man, is there some secret? And yes, there's a secret. <laughs> Watch, I'm going to do it again. I'm just going to pull that a little wave. I was fine on that one. A lot of people say, well, I never stabbed my thread. And I don't understand. Well, you the, should hand stitch the, more. The key is they don't stab it. They haven't stabbed it yet. Yeah. It happens. And always use a wax thread when you're, when you're hand stitching. It'll make things so much nicer. Because that holds, it holds your stick when you pull it tight. Mm -hmm. and you don't have to pull this so tight that you pull all the way through your the leather, but you do want to pull each each stitch up nice and snug. And yeah, we're getting to the point where that top piece of leather is getting delicate. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and it's brittle. Oops, wrong hole. Is this saddle for a customer that we have, or is this? Oh. I was going to say, it'd be pretty cool if you're a customer and you got to see the live video of your work. <laughs> yes, Tony, is this cool for you? Oh, sure. <laughs> so, so my daughter's uh, coach for her Joe riding team, it was a saddle that she first had when she was little. So it's probably about 30 years old, something like that. It's a relatively small saddle. Yeah, it's a 12, 12 inch. So it'd be like for a kid. That's a youth size saddle. Are youth sizes like shoes where they're cheap? They aren't much cheaper because the same amount of labor has to go into them, and material difference is pretty negligible. Yeah, really. I was going to say, the leather might be a little bit different, but not much. Time is all the same. I remember when Denny was making that little salesman saddle that we've got out on retail, you were like, this is harder than making a big saddle because you have to do everything on such a tiny scale. Yeah, everything's tiny. Yeah. Steps, though, if it's tiny, like... What's that? Kind of tiny one like that, do you skip steps? Oh, you can, you know, but the thing was, I was trying to make it just like I would do a big saddle, you know. That's cool. How long does it take you to make one from scratch? A plain saddle, uh, probably 60 hours. One that's a real fancy, a full tool saddle, like that one that 
we have out in front. I have about 300 hours in that one. Must feel so rewarding after you get done. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's the rewarding thing, <laughs> getting done. <laughs> when, you, when you first start something, you're really excited about it. About uh, like 200 yeah, hours in. You get over that. <laughs> <laughs> what size thread are you using, Denny? This is called an all thread. It's about a uh, 138 or a 207 mm -hmm. in that area. You can use a heavier thread. I like kind of a refined looking stitch myself. A lot of people think thicker is better, you know. And that's a matter of taste. Oh, John had asked this question. I don't know if we had talked about it, and I forgot to show Kevin this picture. But dye, green... Upholstery dye on the street on the seat. Is there any way to get it off? Probably not. They've been scraping it off with a butter knife. <laughs> I mean, have you have you tried acetone? That was the only thing that I would have to say. I don't know how a upholstery green how that dye. I would assume that it penetrates even. A lot of upholstery has an acrylic finish on it. Right. That's why, I mean, acetone would be where I would start. I mean, Phoebe's makes dye remover. Um, or is that mm, dye reducer? Well, I think they make a dye reducer. I don't think that is a remover. No, what is it called? In any case, acetone. If there's an acrylic finish on it, which is typically an upholstery finish, is an acrylic finish, unless it's like an Analux, like, dye. But then it's penetrated, and you might be able to get it off the top, but you're not going to get it out of the leather. Yeah. Once it penetrates those pores, it's just in there. Yeah. You scraping it off with a butter knife is interesting, which is making me think that it's More an acrylic, acrylic finish that's sitting on top. They have a, a solvent. Yeah, the... Uh, the deglazer. The deglazer, oh. that's what it is. You can you can try if you want to use like a brand specific, you can use Phoebe's deglazer. But it's mostly just acetone. Charles asked, Denny, is it easier to stitch a pencil roll than a Cheyenne roll? Uh for the most part, yes, because it, you have a lot more visibility and it's have easier access to it. Because I've got to get down underneath this. Is that a Cheyenne, Cheyenne roll? This is a this, Cheyenne roll. What's a pencil? Pencil roll is straight up. It's not it's not folded over like this. Gosh, there's so many different types of saddles. Well, they're just different. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, different ways to do things. You get different looks and different. Uh, Chad, to... that's a no. He's using the all thread. So we've got, that's just the wax poly. We've got listings for all thread in the like the four ounce spools and then it also comes in the little bobbins are the same thing that's yeah. basically yeah this came off of a bobbin but it's the same thing as the four ounce spool yeah i think in the 2020 catalog it's on the right hand thing <laughs> about right there <laughs> <laughs> but if you you know uh, in reality if i was building a saddle i would use uh, unwaxed linen and wax it myself Mm. About about they would call it a six cord. As far as the size of the thread, linen thread they used to measure in in the number of cords that were twisted. Okay, on it. is that the linen? Well, our linen cord is waxed. Yes, so it's it's pre waxed, and the reason that you use unwaxed is because it's easier to thread your needle with an unwaxed thread because you can taper the ends of your thread, okay. and if it's waxed, it's really hard to taper. Right. Was it Michael that was wanting to see the candle binding? Is that what he was? Uh, I thought it was Randy. Maybe it was Randy. I don't know. Hopefully this got them what they were wanting to see. Your sewing skills and your needlework and stuff like that. Do you think you could hear somebody's ears? <laughs> you might think what? You could hear somebody's ears. Sure. Come on over. Come ahead. <laughs> you could probably even lace their ear up. You had an edge stitch on their ear? 
Ooh, can I bleed not? Some tassels oh. in my ears? <laughs> <laughs> Ear tassels? That would be weird. If anybody do it, I think I'd be spinning them out of the <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Hey, I'll try anything. <laughs> uh, he does keep his tools polished. <laughs> and <shrunk. laughs> Not sterilized, but polished. Yeah. We can rub a little deglazer on him if you want. That's true. You probably clean it up with a little sal soap, too. Dip it in some oxalic acid. Oh, yeah. I don't know if that'd be good for your ears. Acid's got to be good. Oh, it, it didn't really burn good. Because I had blue. that wound. Caught cuts on my fingers and stuff when I used oxalic acid, and it does burn. <laughs> so it's got to be good for you. Yes, I, I always enjoy it when my piercings burn when they're done. <laughs> the sign of a good one. Signs of a good one. <laughs> Sanitize that perfectly. I can feel it right now. <laughs> pain tells me it's good. I did say beauty is pain. That's true. That's what I tell myself when I wear high heel shoes. <laughs> <laughs> they do this awesome breast cancer awareness thing. It's walk a mile in her shoes. Mm-hmm. And a lot of people go out on heels and they walk a mile on the track. So cute. I don't even want to do that. Yeah, breast cancer awareness, you're going to like awesome. Don't they? Speaking of walking in hills, I've done that before. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'd have told that. <laughs> no, I've told that. We've talked about it on a video before. You and your girls get dressed up? My wife worked at Payless when we were still dating in high school. I went in there. So that's how you won her over, is you put on some heels. Yeah, I walked up and down the aisles in them, too. There was <laughs> customers in there. They looked at me weird. Everybody just look at you weird? Yeah, well, that's, just, <laughs> that's just a normal experience for Tony. You mean they were looking at you normally? <laughs> also true. That's a weird noise. That's for me. I'm busy. I don't even know what that is. Is that your phone? It's me. <laughs> Denny. Is he saying it's it's time to, to call this video? Yeah. That was your hand situation? <laughs> yeah. I did that. That was my alarm. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to do this for 15 minutes, and that's the most I'm going to do it. Or, but, I mean, that's hopefully, that, guys. hopefully that answered whoever's question and wanted to see yeah. that part of it. Uh, okay. Do we want to talk about these stirrups just a, a little bit sure. that we have over here? Sure. I can show you the issues that we, that I was looking at. Because they had tapaderos on them. Um. Did that camera turn off? Why? Oh, I know why. Because it, it had a battery in it and not the powered thing. Here. Hold that just a minute. Thank you. Yeah. Um, Denny, we're here if you want to show people. Right, yeah, there we go. These are the stirrups. Aren't those cute? They are cute. Hang on, Chad. They've got a little screw here. It did, but I I figured that was so that it could keep that other spindle from rotating soon. But that tapadero blocked all of that, so it wasn't an issue. What's a band? Is there a bandolero? Or is that what I always want to call tapaderos? That's what you always want to call. Okay. That's not a thing. <laughs> a, bayon- a bayonet. Yeah. All right, Chad. Exactly. That'll be one of the SLC words. <laughs> bandolero. Liz's wrong term for tapadero. <laughs> Some tapadero description. <laughs> Maybe, but I mean that. Spindle's cut, so it shouldn't spin around anyway. I don't know why they had that on there. Are you going to cover those in leather or are you just going to leave them? Look at that. I don't even have to worry about it. You pull that screw out of the other one? No. Yeah. Well, I thought maybe you had an effect for that screw. Mm, I just left it in there. I mean, I guess we could cover it in it. She may end up buying new stirs for it anyway. 
take for those extra pieces to get an extra tina on me? Well, we'll oil them and, and they, we'll will, they will turn a darker color, more of a golden color. Take them long before they're pretty well matched. Denny, we had a question while you were sewing. Were you twisting the awl in the hole? After you stick the awl through, you can twist it. If you try and twist it while you're pushing it through, you're going to be cutting a hole like this. Yeah. Then he calls that wallering it out. Yeah, you'll waller that out. <laughs> but if you stick it in, or if you start to waller it after you've already got your hole cut, you know, you aren't going to be cutting anymore. Just opening it up a yeah, little bit. Yeah, it just stretches the hole out. Yeah. Makes so, it yes. Well, I think we'll get this done. You know what that means? It means you've got a lot of stitching to do. Yeah, you know what else that means? What? It's lunchtime. You know what else it means? No, enlighten me. Friday, we get to move on to a new project. What are we going to do Friday? Uh, we're going to cover a bar stool. A bar stool. Maybe a couple bar stools. Yeah. I have some leather over there behind Chad's head. When we talked about bar stools before, we talked about... Denny was going to bring some in. Yeah, I have a, a metal, uh, like a potter's stool. Mm -hmm. Do you do pottery stuff. at the house? No, my wife used to. Oh. Hey, She's Chad. a little bit of a lot of hobbies. Yeah. Chad, there's a <laughs> piece of leather behind your head. I guess that works. Yeah, she oh. digs holes and collects rocks. That's her favorite thing. Well, she should go with Kevin to Arkansas. Yeah. What are you? Well, she's from Arkansas. Well, and not well. She's not really close to Hot Springs where Kevin went. But mm -hmm. her farm, her dad, when he used to plow the field, he would dig up crystals a Ooh. lot of times. What do you think about that piece of leather? That would make a nice bar stool cover. But we can do a bar stool in two different ways. We can do one with a, like a, a pipe seam around the edge, uh -huh. the top edge. Or we can do one that just fold draped over and, and tacked on the bottom. The the metal one we probably ought to do one pipe. Maybe you we guys can do it both ways. Into that metal. No, not so much. But this <laughs> stuff has some really cool some really great pull up on it. I thought that would be ideal. Alright. I think it'd make a good bar stool. I do too. At least on one of them. Then we can probably finagle another piece of leather from around here somewhere. Do both of them in that too. There's enough probably for both bar stools. I got more on it. Got plenty. <laughs> well, we want to be frugal with our Oh. Life. Yeah, I mean, we don't look at the saddle we just read there. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, we, the only thing that we really have left is oiling and conditioning all of the leather that's on there to try to get it at least as supple as we can. I mean, the dryness that's on there is not going to change. Yeah. It's just going to be what it is. He's got character. It was. It, it does. It's a cute little saddle. It had sentimental value. That's the only really reason why we went ahead and just redid it. Yeah. She has three little kids, so I think they're going to learn to ride on that saddle. What's her plan? So nice. All right. Any other question? Oh, pipe seam. I would love a tutorial. Look all at right. that. You've committed. You're going to have to practice. <laughs> I've been committed. All right. Committed. <laughs> <laughs> been committed. All right. We'll any try. any other questions pop in there, Chad? One more. Uh, one that slides up to a bar table. I go test. Yeah, a bar type stool. Uh, just a bar type stool. Like, like no, lizard. no, like, like a like a not the a four legged stool. Three legged stool. Not a three legged tripod stool. Yeah. Not a milking stool. Where Michael, we, <laughs> we, we did, did a do video. A video. Yeah. yeah, we did do a video on that. So if you're if you're interested in that one, you can check out where we did that. But this will just be a regular, regular house. Stool. Live shopping with Liz and I tomorrow at two. Even if you don't Even purchase if you don't leather. Anything. You should tune in. It gets kind of crazy. It's a good time. We talked about loincloths last time. Well, you know, those turtle tails. Yeah. <laughs> we made it. I missed this completely. You did. Yeah. It gets kind of crazy. But it's a fun It's a fun hour. Liz and I goofing off for an hour, selling stuff to you. Uh, we sold some of those. We, we were selling some of those for like 35 bucks. We had sides on there. We sold five sides, and you bet $20 and each. Really? 
it's fun leather. Yeah, we've got quite a bit of that. So, if Denny, if you're interested. Yeah, nice yeah. leather. For Kevin, and Kevin had talked about his $15 side. We did it at 20 and you got free shipping. All right, guys. Well, it's been fun. We're going to eat some lunch. Later. Bye. See you guys. Or are you after party? Oh, yeah, probably. Or if you're not done with us yet, jump on over to Twitch and check us out there. We'll see you later.